Hello, true crimers. So over on my TikTok page, my most popular, most viral video series on there is called Worst Deaths Imaginable. Um, I think right now I'm sitting at 65 million total views for that series. This is a series where I talk about some of the very unfortunate ways people have died. Sometimes it's accidental. Sometimes it's because they were murdered in really awful ways. Sometimes it's the fault of the person doing something they shouldn't have been doing. But in the end, these people die a really tragic and really horrendous death. Such was the case for 26-year-old Adam Pye. Adam was from San Lorenzo, California. He and his friends had gone to Francis State Beach, which was in Half Moon Bay, California. Adam had actually recently graduated from Cal State East Bay, and he got a degree in communications. Now, he had been working for UPS, um, but he had just recently got a new job um, in Southern California. Before he started this job, he was actually going on a trip to New York. Um, so he was just going to the beach with some friends, and then a couple days later, he would be going to New York for a quick little vacation. Adam was a beloved friend. He was a beloved son. His mother would refer to him as the perfect son. She would say that Adam was the type of person who would always help someone out when they were in need. He never got into trouble. He never even got so much as a parking ticket. So on July 21st, 2014, like I said, Adam was at the beach with some friends. Now, to those who don't know, I'm originally from Southern California. I'm originally from the San Diego area, specifically Oceanside, California. I lived there the first 18 years of my life. And um, we had always lived at least like five, six minutes away from the beach. Um, and I've always hated the beach personally. Um, I hate the sand, I hate the smell, I hate the seagulls. Uh, the ocean's gross, <laughs> so. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll apologize. <clears throat> My lawyers have told me that I'm not allowed to say the ocean is gross. So I am deeply, deeply apologetic for that. <clears throat> no, but it's gross. Um, now, a lot of people don't know that doing something as simple as digging a hole um, in the sand is actually a very risky thing to do. If water rolls into it and water fills up that hole, you know, you run the risk, especially if it's a child, you run the risk of a child drowning in there. A lot of people also think it's fun to bury themselves in sand up to their neck. And that is actually a very dangerous activity because you can actually suffocate by doing that. In the case of Adam Pye, he had dug a hole. Um, it was roughly 10 feet deep or so. When all of a sudden the walls of the hole, the sand, essentially just collapsed and caved in on himself. Keep in mind, Adam is probably, I don't, I'm, not, I'm actually not sure how tall he was, but he, you know, probably five foot 10, let's say, um, and this hole is 10 feet deep. So he is all the way at the bottom of this thing when the sand caves in on him. The sand wasn't obviously compacted, but it was in there enough that it was very difficult for him to actually try to climb out of himself. There's nothing to leverage onto, there's nothing to grab. Now, his friends were obviously right there in the area, so they immediately ran over um, and they just began digging and digging and digging like crazy to try to get Adam out of there, but they were having a really difficult time doing it. So this is when paramedics and firemen were called in to try to get Adam out of this hole. Adam was essentially buried alive because of the amount of sand that collapsed in on him. Um, and his friends were just really having a hard time getting him out of there, he was immediately not able to breathe once the sand completely collapsed on him. So the fire uh, station, they actually called in 30 additional firemen to help with this because the situation somehow became way more complex than they had thought it would be. It actually took them 35 minutes to get Adam out of that hole. I know that sounds like way too long of a time, that sounds crazy, but Again, I mean, this is a huge hole. It was 10 feet deep, remember? So when he was buried in there, he was buried really good. So after the 35 minutes, the paramedics were able to finally retrieve Adam out of the hole. When they got him out of the hole, he was not responding. He wasn't conscious. He appeared to be gone. The paramedics, they performed life support on Adam, but believe it or not, it was too late. Adam died. A lot of times it just goes to show that you know, no matter what situation you're in, no matter where you are, no matter how safe you feel, sometimes it's the most mundane, 
day-to-day -day things that could become your downfall. I mean, you don't think that a 26-year-old man is going to die at the beach while just doing something fun, like digging a hole. You know, Adam, there's no way he could have known this would have happened. But Adam had so much going for him. He was a wonderful person. Um, and so for this to happen is just so tragic, so traumatic to the family, to the friends, especially the ones who were there that day. But that was the story of Adam Pye. So thank you for watching this video. Um, I will definitely have more coming out. Um, I probably won't be posting as much as I do on, on TikTok. It's a lot harder to make videos this way. So for now, goodbye, true crimers.